The merchant is there. To my help! And death to the others! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! The merchant is there. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honour that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise, without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The Quartermaster must be expecting us.
to my help! And death to the others! To my help! And death to the others! Move away! Things are about to get dicey! I'm sorry, I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Greetings, Your Excellency. Swarm through? Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. 
Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvellous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. It's blocked. It's blocked. Blood, do you need something? I must leave you. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me, when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial, so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. 
Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Locked. 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 Jürgen, what are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin! Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Alsad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set off a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology, I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is... An attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. 
I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case. But a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Locked. 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 Let's go and find the alchemist. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped! He'll have to come out someday, you'll see. And so you plan on waiting here? <laughs> I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops. And my tooth is aching more than ever! Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis oh, A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed then? 
everyone. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we going to do? The doctor costs a fortune. We're all going to end up like statues. Listen to me, everyone. I know a good doctor that will help us. Come on, follow me. That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him. The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally! Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Why should I deliver him to you? You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the Congregation of Merchants, that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the Bridge, and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels, I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship, not a boat. 
Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is going to have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbour master's office. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Nords have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock, but the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. 
This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. 